The Banana Project started in 2013 by former student and now alum Olivia Sharkey. The project itself aims at the elimination of malnutrition at a school in Guatemala. One of the things that's really fascinating and troubling about the community with which we work in Guatemala City is that it's a community that lives off of the garbage dump there in Zona 3. People work in the garbage and by and large they're scavenging for recyclables that they can convert into cash. But you're talking about $2 a day maximum. Okay? So people are also scavenging for food and, and, and other goods in the garbage. Guatemala City, or particularly this part of Guatemala City, is really a food desert. And the kind of things that the kids in particular are able to eat, really limited. They're getting lots of carbs, lots of sugars, not a lot of protein, not a lot of vitamins. And so you see within the children of the community and within the adults who have grown up in that community, you see lots of evidence of bad nutrition, stunted growth, etc. And so one of the big uh, aspects, one of the major aspects of the school that we work with is a nutrition program. And so they're constantly looking to give the kids appropriate nutrition during the day because they know that in the afternoon and the evening, they're going to be subject to the limitations of this food desert key element in that food program is the banana. And that one banana was probably the most nutritious thing the kids had all week. When Olivia Sharkey was down there spending a semester teaching in that school, she noticed this phenomenon and they, she noticed it on a regular basis. When I took the group down to visit the school, and I hooked up with Olivia, we spent some time talking on the side about this issue and what St. Vincent could do to be a positive force for this community. St. Vincent is not a missionary society. We're an educational institution, and so our primary responsibility is to our students, but we really wanted to give our students an understanding of the limits of our relationship and, and, and a better sense of the precise role we could play in the life of the community that we were working with. We could really tap into student government and the way in which student government does uh, fundraising and the senior gift, and we could guarantee every kid in that school at least a second banana every week. Well, as the story goes, the fundraising was so successful that they've been able to endow the school so that they have upwards of three and even four bananas per week now. I cannot over-dramatize the kind of concrete impact those extra bananas have in the life and the well-being of those kids because the kids in that school are from first grade through sixth grade. These are key developmental years and the absence of good nutrition during those years has huge consequences down the road and when they get good nutrition in those years the possibility the, the possibilities for long-term health grow exponentially and th the only way we were able to do this is because of Olivia's vision and Olivia's long-term commitment to this community and her capacity to see what was going on to process it and to come up with a plan of action and that school and St. Vincent owes a great deal to Olivia's vision and the way in which it has an ongoing impact in the lives of those kids and in the life of that community. I always tell people that I go to a college that prides itself on um, being a Benedictine school and really staying firm in Benedictine values, but community and hospitality especially were never so apparent to me than when I came to Francisco Cole two years ago. So in one, that's a blessing in and of itself. To be a part of a community that exudes such hope amid such darkness 
and to be able to take part in them. And I guess the one way, while it seems so kind of simple and naive and you could do so much more, is I'm able just to be present with them every day. And in that presence, I am gifted with so much. And I'm gifted with humility, with how to just accept things as they come, especially with teaching, as you just really got to roll with the punches. But um, each day is something new. And the thing that the community, especially the children, teach me is life truly is a gift and that it's meant to be appreciated. And they show that appreciation each and every day. And so it opens your eyes to just life's true meaning and how cliche that sounds. You, you can't disregard it that they do that. And the face of Christ is made present to me every day through those people and through their actions. So it really is a blessing to be a part of this. It is a long-term commitment to the community. And that's why being on top of fundraising for the Banana Project is so important. Because an extra banana a week for a year is not going to make a difference. The idea is to have this available year after year after year, and then you see an aggregate of difference over the long haul. And that's really why we got involved with Guatemala. We didn't want to be simply sort of narcissistic North Americans coming down to take a bunch of selfies with poor kids so we can sort of increase the likes on our Facebook page. The idea was to learn from this community and to be of real service to the community and have some modesty about the kind of impact we can have. This is one concrete thing that we can do that will make a difference over the long haul in the lives of many kids.